Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's Tuesday, traditional wedding day, April 17th. I'm not saying the raptures today, but I do have to say uh, there are a lot of uh, things going on. And this is, I think this is my first time doing a video um, this early in the morning. I, don't, I normally do my videos in the afternoon, um, but it's 8.43 in Atlanta. And um, I just felt like I needed just to pop on and tell y'all I'm really encouraged. I really am excited. I've been up um, singing songs, and then I w then I uh, listened to just a little bit of a video. I think it's Rapture Time Awareness. They're the ones who've done the wedding invitation that they've sent out all over the world, um, and they said that Israel is having a siren sound at. 8 p.m. tonight, which would be 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, but the funny thing was, I listened to that, then I was getting ready, and um, I mean, all day yesterday, I was just taking pages and pages of notes uh, of God incidences, I guess you could say, and I was getting ready, and all of a sudden, I sang, Rejoice, rejoice! Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Now, I think that's not too bad considering that's the first time I've sung out loud. And it's the first time I've been talking because I, other than to say, hey, Lexi, good morning. <laughs> um, o come, O come, Emmanuel. That's a Christmas song. But for some reason, I got it this morning as I was getting ready. Um you know, God is so, uh, Jesus is ready to come get his bride, and God, he has waited a long time for his people, the Jews. Okay, so I do, I am going to make this really quick, because I am going to Bible study. Okay, this is a funny thing. I'm going to Bible study. Um, we're studying Romans 15, uh, and um, <laughs> we're having, we're having a lunch afterwards, and it was so funny, it's in the upper room of this restaurant. And I was like, I haven't been to that restaurant. Let me look it up and see what it what it has to, uh, you know, what's on the menu or whatever. But the funniest thing was, I went when I went to look at the website, um, <laughs> I, I texted this to uh, my friend. I thought, this is just so funny. Um, when I went to get a look at the website, it says, designed to transport you to another place and time where you can lose yourself. Okay, y'all get that? <laughs> I, I, oh, well, the sunset tonight is at 7.09 in Jerusalem time, which is at 12.09 Eastern Daylight Time. I'm going to be in this upper room in this restaurant that on their website says, designed to transport you to another place and time where you can lose yourself. I just, I mean, I just think that's so funny. I do. I was like, God, you're, he keeps me going. He keeps me going. He keeps me singing. There's within my heart a melody. Jesus whispers sweet and low. Fear not, I am with thee. Peace, be still. In, a, in all of life's seventh flow. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Okay, then also, I had a funny thing happen. I mean, I've had a lot of funny things happen. Um, God sent me this beautiful young woman who's a fairly new believer. I met her in my Revelation class. Her name is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. And on Sunday, um, the message was on um, sharing the gospel, and she was on video of, um, of a, being a new believer who was out sharing the gospel. And y'all, this is, I mean, this is a big church that I go to. But the amazing thing is, they have like 3,400 people that are in um, services. They also have 3,400 people during the week that are in Bible study. That's, that tells you a lot. Plus, they sent out 700 missionaries um, um, this year. So, the, oh, before I go back to, before I lose the thing about lunch. Um, well, no, I'll go back to, sorry. <laughs> I have so much to say. Um, 
but anyway, as I stepped out, oh, so it was having a burden for the lost, praying for opportunities, and being bold in your witness. And as I stepped out of church, I, I see the pastor, and I tell him about um, our evangelism to the uh, Jewish boy, Ariel, Lion of God, and um, which was last Tuesday. And then Jessica was standing right there, and I got to meet her husband and... Uh, I was just so proud that I got to know her when, I mean, God just, he just walking by the spirit. He just sends these people. It's just amazing. Um, and she's also a, a new believer who's a rapture watcher, which is pretty amazing. Um, and then on Sunday, I was watching TV Sunday night and all of a sudden um, I was watching the news and all of a sudden there was a commercial on and for some reason my, my TV froze. And the funny thing was, it was frozen on this big number 70. So the siren is sounding tonight for the beginning of Israel's 70th birthday, right around the time that the new moon is expected to be sighted, right? Um, <laughs> and on my screen, it's frozen. Like I back up and I try to go forward and it, it will not go past this point. It goes backwards, but it will not go. I'm on you verse. It would not go forward. And it's this big 70 and it says April 17th, Tuesday suit sale. Like let's change out our body suits into our spiritual suits. 70% <laughs> off. It just made me laugh. It, it made me laugh. Um, and really, I am trying to make this quick. Let me think. Okay, so uh, I had watched Rhonda Empson's video about the 75. And, um, you know, my last, I think my last video was about the 68. And 68 means victorious disciples. 75, in addition to what Rhonda said it meant, um, 75 also means missionaries. Well, the funny thing is, today when I'm with these, um, this group of women, um, we're studying uh, Romans, and this is an international Bible study. I think it has 400,000 people that are in this study. I don't remember how many countries. I know like in my, um, in my group, there are about 80 different churches people attend. So it's a parachurch is what they call it. It's not a church. Um, but we study the Bible together for n nine months, and so we're all studying Romans across the world. And um, anyway, this group of women that I'm with, one of them heard, uh, I'm back to missionaries, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, one has been a missionary to China. One was um, uh, born in a missionary family to Jamaica. Um, so, I, and of course, we're all missionaries every day, and... Um, yeah, we're all missionaries. So anyway, that's 75. So I got a call on the phone yesterday. I've been doing a lot of different things. I've been in the in the Word in First um, Peter 4, and then I watched Rhonda's video about her suffering. Y'all read First Peter 4. Our suffering makes us like Jesus, um, not that we enjoy it. First um, Peter 4 also talks about his appearing, um, that if we're suffering in a way that pleases God, that that's okay. Um, I also thought of the verse, uh, second Chronicles, I think it's nine sixteen. I could be looking at my notes, but I'm just trying to go off my memory as to, Hey God, what, what do you want me to say? But the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully devoted to him. I've always, that was like one of my very first memory verses, but the, and I don't, I don't have the rest of the verse memorized, but the rest of the verse has something to do with what fools you have been. War is about to come. I've always t like, wow, what a beautiful part of that first part of that verse, but not looked at the last part. And yesterday when I was checking my memory to see if I had memorized it correctly, um, it was, uh, what fools you have been. War is about to come. Now, um, so I'm, I got a phone call. I need to go pick up my um, tax information. And as I was driving, I said, "You got really? I'd love to see the, I'd love to see some numbers for confirmations. I'd like to see a 17. 17 means victory. 
a 22 because that's the number I really like and God really likes that number too. Galatians 5, 22 is fruit of the spirit. And um, there are 22 letters in the Hebrew of al alphabet. There's a lot of 22s. And of course, Abraham uh, being willing to sacrifice Isaac is Genesis 22. Um, and so, and yes, I know the numbers were assigned many, many years later. It used to be on a scroll with no chapters and verses, but God loves his numbers. So I said, I'd like to see a 17, a 22, a 68, and a 75, or any of those. And as soon as I said it, um, as soon as I said it, I went, whoa. <laughs> and let me see, let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. Uh, there it is. Okay. As soon as I said it, Old Big Creek Cemetery established in 1775. That's a 17 and that's a 75. <laughs> now, I didn't see 68s. I saw 86s, which are uh, backwards, and I saw some 22s. But as soon as I said that, I was like, whoa. And uh, on the way back from that, um, I saw, um, oh, hang on a second. Uh, sorry. Uh, I saw some other tags that had some other meanings. But when I pulled into my garage, it was the number 555, Grace. <laughs> okay, so, um, and then I... You know, I, then I'm th I'm also thinking about 417. We all know 1 Thessalonians 417 is when we get caught up. Those who, who remain after the dead rise first. That's the funny thing. It's a cemetery, like the dead rise first. And then we who are remain will be caught up. That's, that is 1 Thessalonians 417. I think it's 416 through 18 is the... Um, is the verses that talk about the rapture, but 417. So, um, I don't know. I have a lot of different things. Uh, and also, I got yesterday, I got 1 John 3, 1, which is about this is who we are. We're children of God. We're children of Emmanuel. Um, and the rest of the world does not recognize us. So, look that up. 1 John 3, 1. Um... And then Ladder, I watched Ladder Rain, Ladder Rain 333, and she had had a dream of a whole bunch of World War I planes. And the funny thing is, she was looking at 1918, but the funny thing is, 1918 was when we had the last great American solar eclipse before this one in August. And it was a, uh, it was on June 8th, but the, there was a proclamation by the, by um, President Woodrow Wilson that was made on May 11th. It was Proclamation 14, that's a 14, and 45, I don't, I don't remember the meaning of 45, but, um, and if y'all look at, I'll, I'll put the link in it, but if you look at it, it was a national day of prayer, fasting, and repentance for America. Now, I had also watched Amir. That was really the last thing I watched before I went to bed last night. And I'd watched Amir, and he is so right. Um, you know, the United States is not part of uh, the Ezekiel 38 war. God is going to be the one to rescue Israel. Um, so, you know, does that mean that America has disappeared? Does that mean um, that we're just not involved? and that uh, the rapture's already happened. We, you know, we don't know. The point is, do we know Jesus? <laughs> that is the point. Um, if it turns out that we're still here, because I, I have a lot of things that I went to um, do yesterday, but I just wanted to point out, oh, and um, my friend, Fairy, told me that Mary, God's handmaiden, she's not someone I watch, but that she has always said noon on a new moon. I don't know if that's true. That's just what um, my friend says. But noon on a new moon, the um, noontime uh, made me think of Psalm 91, that the disaster is going to happen at midday. I think it's 
oh gosh, is it Psalm 91.6? I'm not positive what verse it is. Happens at midday or noon. And today is the expected sighting of the new moon. Now, wouldn't that be interesting too? I watched a girl who had a dream, her first rapture dream back last fall. And she said she saw Jesus rising like this bright light over a mountain. Wouldn't it be amazing to be there in Jerusalem, the sun has set around noontime, our time, but the sun has set and they're looking for the new sliver of the moon. They're about to have the siren. They're all joined together for this um, recognition of Israel's 70th birthday. And they're, then Jesus rises and Jesus rises and we are, and the dead arise and then we who are remain are caught up. Um, also, I checked out Colossians 3, uh, excuse me, Colossians 4, 17, because my, um, my YouTube channel was founded on um, Colossians 3, 17, and for some reason I thought, hmm, look at Colossians 4, 17. Be sure to carry out the ministry the Lord gave you. If, um, if we are leaving in the next few days, I hope that I have done what he's told me to do. He told me to feed my sheep. And um, I, I love y'all. I really do love you. And I really, I know how many of y'all really do want to go home. And we do want to go home. So rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. I love you. Maybe I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.